Hello people and welcome back to Banishers Ghosts of New Eden where today we will finally grab a new case because yeah last episode was basically just traveling and all sorts of nonsense but no actual substance to the case so today we're gonna hop on up here to the green stuff but I've had a see I've had a think since last time, and um, you guys remember at the very start where we got dragged out of the water, I can't really see anymore where that was right now, but I figured somehow that certain, you know, these little scratches in the ground, um, where were we? In the swamp, you know, the stuff that they showed us how to travel from one place to another through the underworld basically i have seen this one at the very start and i am wondering if only certain portals bring you to certain other positions uh spectral web is that what it's called it's not but i hope you get what i mean i hope you get oh wait i haven't marked it i hope you get what i mean because um that would mean that we would have to travel back to the start to see maybe if that brings us to a new location. Or if we can travel to that location in the south that we could not access last time. It could very well be. But I am sure we will find out in no time. Oh, we still have our wrong... But layout on again. I think that happened last game. If I'm not wrong. Into the forest and let's see who we have to banish today. Ooh, nothing there yet. What is here? Oh God! Back, you monster! Oof. How's Bowles, lady? Oh, Mr. McGrath. <laughs> you are a monster. What the hell? Thank God! I mean, I'm so sorry. Oh Lord. <sighs> well, I have thoroughly embarrassed myself. Forgive me if you can. Think nothing of it. How do you know my name? <laughs> Who doesn't? You slayed the beast. By God's grace. I admit I thought you a charlatan. I told the newsmiths they get nothing for their money. Mistress Evelyn Fitcher, by the way. Ow! And what passes around here for a position? Red McCraith, banisher of ghosts and slayer of the terrible beast. How may I help you? I need no help. I just scared myself. These days I'm afraid of my own shadow. I uh, was gathering plants in the woods. I thought it was attacked by a ghost. Isn't that ridiculous? She's haunted, clear as day. <laughs> Where I'm from, she would pass not as a physician, but as a dickhead. She hit us, then freely told us that she, she thought we were charlatan and everything. That is rude. Especially, she should know that Antea died. Charlatan. Very nice. We travel halfway around the world for basically no money as of yet, but we are the charlatan. Sure. That's funny, I thought ghost stories were the domain of the charlatan. I deserve that. I admit <laughs> I ran in panic. In doing so, I dropped my bag. There are medical supplies in it. Could you get it for me? The medical supplies are valuable. It's a shame to lose them. I'll see what I can do. May God's goodness go with you, if you're serious. I still can't tell if you're a serious man. <laughs> And you will not figure that out. I won't let you figure that out too soon, you, you know. You're such a good man. Mm. Banisher, rebel, finder of lost baggage. And Beetlehead. You forgot Beetlehead. <laughs> what the fuck? What does she mean, Beetlehead? I don't have a Beetlehead. Here in the crevice. Ugh. 
Evelyn Fitch's lost bag. We've Hope never she been there. Drop it down there. I just. Oh. Um. Sure. We've not been in this place of the world yet. There is a place to roll down though. Oh wait. I've seen ya. Now this is where we came from. Right. And um Oh there it was. But no rope yet. That means we have Oh, we we, we will get around to this. Okay. That does make sense. Right. Off we pop. Huh. Let's go right first. I'm picking up something spectral nearby. Ah, you know. Oh. Me too. Me too. Nice. The more I play this game, the more I kind of got to appreciate the um. The ambiente, the music. It did quite a good job. What I want to say, it is scary. And I don't like it. I did get jump scared quite a few times by now. And I ain't super happy with it. What is this? Oh. 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 No way. Oh yeah. Right. One, two, three. Can never get the timing right. Never ever get the timing right. Yeah, it's not a good thing. Pretty certain. Um, oh, of course. Oh, you're with the back now. Piss off. Can I get to this one? Okay. Just you and me, buddy. Ready and waiting. Uh, I forgot the the block button for a second. Call on me. <laughs> Call me. You don't have a phone. Okay. Done this. I assume this was just a mini side path. I'm gonna get straight back here. And of course we are not. What's this? So we are above where we kind of wanted to go. Just need to drop that rope over there. gets worse every episode i every single episode i just wish i was better at maneuvering in this game at knowing where i am but they they didn't do a very good job to make these paths and everything unique everything's just tiny cuts off the game and then just goes very twisted oh i didn't think we would get in but i take it and there's going to be enemies outside. 
Because there wasn't any before this, so there's gonna be plenty now. Or not. <laughs> we take it. Let's see what's on the balcony. That's a view, you know. Right. Um. That's it. It turned blue, though, you know. It turned blue for a second, my ring, so there is something somewhere. I'm gonna just check inside once again. Huh. It's not in here. That's fine. Right. Um, yeah. Down here. That's the other side, right? Our doctor may not oh. believe in ghosts, but this journal was torn by a spectral hand. Yeah, she scares me more every episode as well. She's loving her powers. A bit too much. Pyrite. <sighs> Green cancelled. Sykes cancelled. Pratt cancelled. Darlow cancelled. Glue headache. Fever verbena. Daily for a week. Lily cancelled. Sykes Noctoria Vertigo Hemlock each Tuesday and Friday. Lily Cuff shortness of breath, soreness and breathing. Nightshade each second Monday. Nightshade is poisonous, no? G Rawling skin and mucosal lesions, loss of appetite, fever, mercury salts daily. These people work with crazy stuff back in the day. Mercury salt each Monday, but see a surgeon first. Fawcett. Fawcett, we know. We, we read this name. Stomach ulceration. Theory act daily for a week. Frequent sneezing. Cough. They all got the cold, no? Throat aches. Cough voice. Loss. Inhalation of sulfur twice a month. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that Rawlings, he looks... He sounds fucked. Okay, down here, I assume. Oh. Um, whatever that is. Oh. You're the last one. Die, you bastard. Easy enough. Level 12. Right, now give us a hot second, please, to... Check the book. Or the bag, anyway. Evelyn Fitch's bag filled with various plants and flowers. Okay. I hope whatever's in there is intact. Mm -hmm. The ghost was after Evelyn, not her bag. Spectral stains lead back to camp. It's oh. just Fitcher was something of a physician back in Yorkshire. I wonder why she left. Hmm? Maybe she had no choice. Looks like her patients deserted her. Intriguing. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, that's that's never really, you know. A good sign when patients leave the doctor because doctors are especially in the new world I can assume they're scarce we 
and the patient leaves you. But then again, you know, she literally prescribed people nightshade. I am certain that is poisonous as anything. Um, can I... Can I go the long way around here? Is that possible for me on my own? I wanna try. There's a question mark up there too. Oh yeah, go on left first this time. Oh, go on, go on left first this time. Go on left this time. This little bit of the old pyrite as usual. Up we go. You probably can't hear this wherever you wa whatever you're watching this on, but to me. It always sounds when he climbs something, there's something straight behind me. Ready and waiting. Ah. Ask for help if you need it. You are already punching people into oblivion. You're fine. She's always very keen to get involved. I don't know if this is like a sign as well that she's getting more angry, kind of. Because that wasn't a thing before, right? Her being like, let me punch some ghosts, let me punch some. That hasn't happened before. Can't say I'm too fond of that starting. Right. We can go down there, which would lead us to to the lake. What? What's the waterfall? I've got so little idea where we are. Um. I'm gonna have a look here. And if there is nothing of substance, we're gonna go back to back to camp. Bring her the bag. Let's see how that goes. Wait. Um no. Okay. There was a oh Jesus Christ, is that oh There is a campfire to the left near that tree, so we're gonna we're gonna take the opportunity to maybe discover on the way and get there and then quick travel back. Or oh, are we? Oh god, come on. Again, there is so much going on here. Ah, I know where we are. I know where we are. We now are near that, yeah, that first location where we went off to the left doing all that nonsense. I remember this bit now. There is still a lot of stuff open here. This was the little, um, the little campfire. Um, where we had that case with her being the French spy. I remember this bit. But yeah, there's there's no point going there now. Okay. Let's go on home. I hope I can find well nope, obviously. Straight away got lost. Okay. I was about to say, let's see if we can 
if we can make it home without looking too much at the map to get some orientation going but clearly I have no idea what I'm doing Enemies haven't respawned yet, which is good too. Cancelled. It's going to be intriguing to know why all the patients cancelled. If she's... How many murderers are there in this colony as well? People who have killed someone. People who are spies. Why? Like, have we met a single normal person yet? person who's not like oh let's send people to get eaten by wolves and all this nonsense it's crazy oh, God, you're back. yes no you're back Why, mr switcher whatever is the matter uh, i was home working all of a sudden the book in my hands was torn apart oh no what does the devil want with me not the devil but a ghost you must know it now till lately i would never have believed such nonsense this never would have happened in Yorkshire. In Yorkshire? Oh, well, there, there is things happening in Yorkshire, all right? Let us talk of something else. The world about us, for example. I get the feeling you're about to try and sell me some nonsense or other, but all right. We can talk. <laughs> right. Kate Newsmith. Quite the character, eh? Yes. Without wishing to be cruel, her sister's death revealed her true character. But she'll be a good leader. With time. God helps those who help themselves. Hmm. I've passed through Yorkshire. Seems nice enough. Why leave? Why does it matter? To understand why someone is haunted that helps to know a little about them. Fine. I came to treat the sick and chase the devil from New Eden Town. My cousin, Nicholas Doolin, and the Lord keep him, oh. said the town needed doctoring. I took my chance. But when the devil came a-knocking, well, we were forced to leave. For a rationalist, her faith in God and the devil is strong. Hmm, that is true. Did Thick Skin ask you to join her group? Nicholas spoke to her for me. She knew my worth. It was difficult to leave New Eden Town. But I'd left one home behind. What did it matter if I must leave another? True. Your family in England, did you leave a lover behind? That would be a good question, you know. Did you leave a lover behind? If that's not too impertinent a question. It is too impertinent a question, thank you very much. And the answer is no. <laughs> I left my patients and I left a sister. Things between us had soured. Rather than try to fix the unfixable, I chose to start over. Unfixable? Why? She was to wed. And I... opposed it. It was the mistake of her life. I would not lie to comfort her, and she would not forgive me for it. That's good to know. Though I don't yet understand how it relates to your haunting. Mind if I look around? I'm aware this is your home. I have no wish to trespass. If you must, you may. Do tread carefully, hmm? I should go. The Lord will guide you, Banisher. If you let him. I swear to God, these people, they are haunted. And they still behave like dicks towards you. You're like, I'm like your only hope. Apart from praying to God, who hasn't helped you much yet. And you're still treating me like shit. It's not very nice. The midwife, she's called. The midwife. Oh no. Don't let it be some creepy baby or something. Evelyn Fitcher posts her sister's marriage. Hmm. Well, let's see. Whatever the ghost oh. wanted, it made quite the mess. Oh. It did. <laughs> Just taking money. <laughs> this could be useful. 
Shit, he it could indeed, yeah. Someone threw a book through the window. Our ghost's modus operandi, it seems. <laughs> Books, yeah. Evelyn, stop writing to me and stop calling me your sister. This is the last time I'll write. I don't want to know about your life in New England. You'd play the good doctor. You cannot. You are not our father. And you cannot heal our sisterhood. It's too late. Learn your lesson and leave me be. Wow. This is... this is harsh. Someone has an axe to grind. Voices from the past waiting to be heard. This ghost is bent on ruining the doctor's business. Maybe they didn't like their medicine. You must break the engagement. First, I'll thank you for your concern. Oh. Second, I shall refuse. Felicity and I shall oh. marry. You have the pox. You'll infect your wife and both of you will die. So cease your nagging and do your job. Cure me. I have got a terrible, terrible... Quite the contentious consultation. The patient in question must be our ghost. Uh, it's pox. They yeah, said it. Syphilis and didn't take it serious. She took that personally. Wait. I thought pox. I'm not a doctor and I don't do not have enough idea about medicine and stuff, but uh Isn't pox something else in syphilis? Have I forgotten something? Mixed up something? We're done here. No, Time we're not. to take a look outside. Oh. Of course. The book. Our flying book. Physicians, by their ignorance, destroy more lives than they may save. Remember this, the dose makes the poison. Like water too powerful, the medicine will flood the body. Remember also that while potent metal must be used with caution, mercury salt can cement the air inside the body and rot the heart until death occurs. Paralysis, heart failure. Sulfur can make the air ascend to, the, uh, to, the, to one's brain, suffocating the mind until death occurs. Burning lung failure. Aquafortis can distill the air in the body and smother the breath out of the lungs until death occurs. Overheating. In that book we found from her, she prescribed mercury salt. Patient later showed these symptoms. This as well. Lung failure later. I... Did have. Dose makes the poison. Mm. The answer is here somewhere. Did have the right idea, I think, roughly about what's happened here. She killed people. If on purpose or not, we will see. Maybe not every one of them, but that ghost is certainly not there for nothing. Oh. An unfinished portrait of a couple. Two names are written on the canvas. Felicity and Goffrey. This tie is doused with the essence of its goal. Okay. Could this be the sister? Aye. The ghost is connected to this picture. Time to summon him. It's not going to be the sister. Hear my voice and show your face. Huh. Why am I here? You do not look like the guy in the portrait, even unfinished. Oh, that was a clever trick. Now you see me, you lucky things. Can you hear me too? Aye, we can hear you. We've not met. Seen your likeness. In the picture, he seemed in better shape. Mm. Well, now that's not very polite. 
Who are you, anyway? I'm Antea Duarte. This is Red McGrath. Geoffrey Rollins, me. Pretty as a picture. Near as pretty as you, me lady fair. We're really banishers. Not. Looks are not high on our list of priorities. Banishers, are you? How very attractive. I wager you smell good. I wager you smell dangerous. I like you. Oh. Yeah. You have a very high opinion of yourself. I've earned it, my lady fair. I'm charming, educated, handsome, kind, attentive to your every need. Ask anyone. Like who? Why, like Eleanor J, or Madame Cresswell, Penny Ryder, or Penny Top, French Jenny, Greek Nell, Tall Sally, oh. Well, perhaps not, Sally. I owe her money. Uh. <laughs> Geoffrey is clever, they will all say. Geoffrey is kind. Geoffrey is so very, very handsome. And who am I to argue with such knowledgeable women? Uh. Yeah. You like to be loved. Don't you, my lady fair? I love to be loved. I miss it. To be alone is to be dead. Right now, sad to say, I'm both. Why do you stay to haunt Evelyn Fitcher? Because, my lady fair, she let me die. But she was your doctor. A physician, she. Her physics didn't save me. A doctor, she. She doctored me and good. You think she didn't try hard enough? I stand before you, my lady fair, as proof of it. The portrait. It's very good. Whose work is it? It was a wedding gift from Evelyn, my sister-in-law. A mark of her affection, perhaps. Was she dear to you, too? Evelyn? Dear to me? <laughs> no. Her sister Felicity, yes, very dear. Dear, dear Felicity. Dear Felicity. My wife-to-be, had fate allowed it. Yes, I was intent on marrying Felicity, and would not be deterred by some midwife's trifle. Mistress Fitcher knew you had syphilis. Is it any wonder she would oppose your marriage to her sister? She was the doctor, my lady fair. All she had to do was cure me. I am not sure about this, but I am somewhat certain syphilis is either not curable after a certain point. Well, back in the day, probably not anyway. I got to read up about this. What can you tell me about your illness? Don't worry your pretty head about that, my lady fair. It is nothing, nothing at all. If the pox was nothing, then what killed you? Why, it was love. <laughs> I had fevers. Sunlight would hurt my head. I had tunnel vision, my lady fair. And I did not like it. Then one day, I could no longer speak. My legs refused to work. My muscles rebelled against me. And in the end, so did my mind. At the last, there was a pain. Like someone reached into my chest and crushed my heart. I did not like that either. Well, I'm no expert, but that doesn't sound like the great pox to me. The pox was nothing, old man. Nothing at all. I was a fool in love. This, honestly, this, this, what he described sounds like all the three symptoms that we've seen in the, in the book, in the journal. All three symptoms, paralysis, uh, heart breathing, fever, everything. When your symptoms worsened, did Evelyn change your treatment? No. She upped the dose. Oh. With what did she treat your lesions? Salts and powders, mm. powders and salts. And did they work? 
No, they did not. <laughs> Too much sulfur rots the brain. And Joffrey says he lost his mind. No, the other symptoms don't fit. Powdered quicksilver, perhaps. Too much affects the muscles and makes one's heart rot till death occurs. That's it. Powdered quicksilver. Mercury salts. And Mistress Fitcher increased the dose. Poisoning, perhaps? Wait. What? A poisoning indeed. And not by carelessness. She is not a careless woman. Are you telling me that Evelyn Fitcher, Mistress Fitcher, the midwife, my sister-in-law to be, poisoned me? I'm gonna kill her. Oh. Joffrey Rawlings was obnoxious before. Now he's downright nasty. <sighs> Mistress Fitcher's in danger. You can't. Why does everybody... Everybody's first resolution of everything is killing other people. I don't understand. You oh, think she's... she killed him? Yes, I do. Back in the forest. She swore to protect and use her knowledge to kill. For shame. Mm. I never understand. Wait, where are what we now? You... Oh. Oh, huh? <gasps> nope, I have no idea where we are. Doesn't matter. We've done to save your sister from the pox. Uh, yeah. You might have told her the truth and trusted her to call off the wedding. Not sure she'd have listened, mind you. If you, if you tell her as a doctor he's got syphilis, then what, what else can you really do except l literally murdering him? Run, Red! Oh wait, this is where we this is where we came from at the start where we walked into town. When they left us hanging on the tree. I will not forget this. Kate Newsmith. Oh. This can't be true. Jesus. Okay. We cannot be rolling, stand away. Mind your own business, my lady. Oh, him again. Why do I get the feeling that we're sitting ducks? Oh, gee, oh. Take that to your face. Done it. Calm down. Where is he? Ugh. It's over. They're gone. By God Almighty, what on earth were they? Yeah. I know who haunts you. Your ghost is the spirit of one Joffrey Rawlings. Oh Lord. I thought I knew the voice. I thought I glimpsed his face. Yeah, exactly what I thought from the journal. He was betrothed to your sister, right? But you opposed the union. And what of it? She chose him over me. Why would he return to haunt me now? <sighs> Fearing he would give your sister the pox, did you poison him with quicksilver? Is he here in search of revenge? Yes. 
I stole a few months of Joffrey Rowland's life to save decades of my sisters. You mistook yourself for God. Though you'd sworn an oath to protect life, you delivered death. I played God, for God did nothing. To save one you loved, you do the same. The good lady doctor has a point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she does. She does. Let's get to the bottom of this. You've both made your choices. Now it's my turn. Sometimes these little cases, like in the end, he was nowhere to be seen. Now it's my turn. Boom, and he just pops up. Oh, God. Oh, God. She has a point. This is the first, you know, she actually said out loud what I, what I was a bit scared of in the end. That somebody at someone's going to point out, like, you know, I kill, but, but so do you. Yeah. Uh. Well, anyway, you know, you know how we do this. If we can have a good old cliffhanger, we will have a good old cliffhanger. Guys, I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And obviously, I hope you will be back for, for the grand decision. If you enjoyed this episode, of course, as usual, please leave a like, subscribe, and I hopefully see you next time. Bye-bye.